This training material is the property of Accessible Tech Planet. Use of this material is restricted and permission must be sought before use. Do not sell or reproduce in any format without the permission of Accessible Tech Planet. Lesson 25 Play music from your computer can be done in two ways. And that is why I am here today to let you know that as you play music on your sound system, the computer is also here for you to enjoy if you really want to enjoy yourself entertainment wise. So you can play music in different ways, but we are going to be concentrating on the two major ones. That is playing the music that you already have on your PC and playing the music that you have on a CD. Yeah, a disc like the one I'm holding here. All right. The first one, I have talked about it in this lesson before. So I'm just going to refresh it a little so that would um, learn something about it. To play music, you need an application to do that. And majorly, Windows Media Player and some other app, depending on the type of computer you are using, are pre-installed on your computer so that you can play music. But today, I'm going to be dealing with Windows Media Player alone and another third-party application called VLC. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be dealing with. So let's first talk about how to play music that you already have on your PC. I'm going to go into my Windows Explorer. Windows E, File Explorer, Items View List Box. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Items View Multi Select List Box, Frequent Folder. So this is my File Explorer. I press M for M, music. music. Five of twenty nine. Then I press the enter. Enter key. items view list box. To move to an item press. So I'm gonna select a folder in my music where I know that I have songs. Google Sheet with Gust Hip Hop Insert Hip Hop and R M B four of twenty eight. Hip hop and R M B. I press enter. enter Hip hop and R M. And let's look for a song. Two pop nine ice basiri me official audio two hundred fifty. So this is a particular song. If I press enter on it, this computer will play this file with, you know, one of the files or one of the applications that I have. Most importantly, the last one or the one I have been using to play music. Let's try it. Enter. VLC Media Player. Space. Now, if you listen well, you heard VLC Media Player. That's to tell you that um, by default, I use VLC on this system. If by default, I use Windows Media Player, it will use Windows Media Player to play it. The computer is as that smart. Now, to stop and resume whatever you are playing with VLC, you use the space bar. Okay, if I press the space bar again to start playing. Space. If I press it again, it will stop. Space. It has stopped right now. Now, if the volume is too low and I want to adjust the volume, the up arrow adjusts the volume up and the down arrow adjusts the volume down. Space. Let's go. So I'm going to take it down. So I've taken it down right now. If I want to move to the next track, if you're using VLC, you press letter N. Alright, but it won't go to the next track because I'm only playing just one track. Okay, so I'll do that um, when I'm playing multiple um, tracks. Yes. 
Now let me play again and show you something. Space. If I want to increase the speed of this music, all right, I can press the num log minus, and it will, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will be faster. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your num log is on. If you I've been paying attention, you will know the num log button, so I'm not going back then. So my num log is on, so I'm pre I'm going I'm, I'm going to press um just key, you know, that you press that you hear dash, that numpad dash. Dash that takes it slower. So if I press the PC cursor key. Plus. Plus. I take it down. It has gone back to the normal rate, so I'm going to stop it. So that's all I want to show you um, here. But I'm going to now show you how how you can play multiple songs this is hip hop and R&B it's a folder if I want to play all the songs here at once what do I do once I focus it I'm going to press shift plus F10 or if you have the application key you can just press the application key shift F10 Context menu to navigate. Press up or down arrow. C. Let's scroll down. Open a new process. Open a new pin to add to play with VLC media player. P. So you have play with VLC media player. Open add to play with Windows media player. P. We have play with Windows media player. But I want to play with um, VLC. Add, open play with add to play with VLC media player. P. Enter leaving here. menus. Music. So right now I am not playing a single file, I'm playing multiple files, I'm playing many music at once, yes, many songs at once if you like. So if I want to move to the next track, let's go. Space. I press N. M. M will mute. And if you press again, it will unmute. M. To move to the previous file, while one is playing like this, Space. you press letter P. P. Let me reduce the volume. Let's press P again. P. Let's press it again. P. Let's go to next. Okay. So let's do this with uh, Windows Media Player. Let me choose Then shift plus F10. Shift F10. Context. Oh, add play with open my power. Add play with Windows Media. Play with Windows Media Player. Enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Music. Items. View. Multi. Select. List. So let's see. Let's wait. 
think the application is loading the song customs recommended settings radio button checked oh okay this is my first launch Let to me learn something. more finish button recommended settings radio button check okay. to learn finish the space to navigate use tab items view multi select Google Sheet Gospel Songs 3 of 28 JAWS for Documents Windows Media Player Yes Wait, Don't ask me again for Yes button No button Don't ask me again for this extension Checkbox not checked To check space Yes button space Windows Media Player To activate press space bar Windows Media Player Dialog Close button To activate press space bar Space Windows Media Player to activate press space bar. Switch the library button to activate. Okay, F4. it's not playing because there are some files here that are not supported by Windows Media Player. Yeah, in this uh, Alt F4, folder. Music. So, but let's menu. Um, leave this escape items with gospels to hip hop and RMB four of twenty eight. Let's choose another folder here shift f9 sorry shift f10 shift f10 oh 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 at play cast to play with windows media enter let's see items view multi select list okay. so play and pause with windows media player if you want to play and pause you press Ctrl plus P if you already pause it to play. If it's playing, you repeat that same thing it will pause. Like it's paused right now. So I want to play. Okay. Next is control plus F. Previous is control plus B. Well, that's That's previous control B. So that's all about playing music on your computer that's music that are already saved on your computer there is a way to copy music into your computer yes we're still going to go there if time permits us and we've even dealt with it with it yeah if i can remember i've taught you how you can copy something from the computer to the usb and I've also shown you how you can copy from one folder to another, move from one folder to another on your system. Yeah, I know that what I have not touched is how you can copy from a CD to your computer. We'll touch that um, in a subsequent lesson by God's grace. So let's now play all that four. Let's close all of this. Windows Media Player not all that four <clears throat> Music Jaws Docket Windows Media Player Windows Media Player Dialog Close the program button space Windows Media Player not responding to activate pre Windows Media Player Items view multi select list all that four Jaws Profession Documents to move all that four Jaws Profession Jaws Professional So here is a disc usually the cd tray 
if you are using a laptop is always beside um, the computer there's a very tiny button on it if you press it it will come up like i'm using a laptop computer but if you're using a desktop the cd tray is always at the front or you have some computer it's always on the top so ask wherever it's with you or yourself check where you have your cd tray you know and um, press the button on it it will eject the tray automatically so the tray is out the right way to go at placing your cd if you touch it you have a surface that is very very smooth yeah it's very very smooth you know then you have another surface that is not that smooth like um, the other one so that surface that is not that smooth will be up the one that is smooth will be down yeah and this one that is smooth if you check um if you check it very well you have something like a step you know in the middle where you have that hole that you can put your finger so you face the shining surface down then the rough surface the little bit rough surface will be up there is a round button in your cd tray you place the cd on it yeah where it has a hole you make sure that round button goes into the hole the little hole that is on that cd good so that has been done i'll close it and let's see what will happen let's wait The notification from autoplay DVD RW drive the audio CD select what happens with audio CDS so if you listen to that dialogue the computer is asking me to select whatever I want to happen to this CD on some computer when you insert any audio disc or any disc at all it will play automatically but this computer will not do that but if I wanted to do that I can change it but I'm not going to do that right now so where can I play I'll go to this PC J -A -W. let's go to this PC search .th. this PCTH enter. enter this piece then A for audio disc A. So that's not the name of the disk. Folder three D desktop document download music pictures video devices and drives expanded devices and drives two row header expanded. Windows C eight D V D R W drive D audio C D nine of nine. Good. So D V D drive audio C D I would um either press enter on it to open it. If I open it I can see what is in it. Or it will play. So this will play. Now, by what I've just done now, pressing Control F, that's to tell you that uh, this computer chose to play the cd with uh, windows media player yeah so that's just how to play a cd i just paused it with control p if i want to so i pause it again now let's say i want to play with, with uh, windows media player oh sorry uh with um VLC. Alt F4. This PC. Items view multi select list box. Divide. I'll press application key on the DVD audio disc or Shift F10, whichever one is available. Shift F10. Context then play with oh, play with VLC media player. Play with VLC. Press Enter. Enter. Leaving men. Let's see. So I'm playing with um, VLC right now. If I want to pause, I'll press spacebar. Okay, to resume play, I'll press spacebar again. Next track, I'll press N. Previous, I'll press P. Good.
So I close it. Now, if I want to eject this CD without using the button on the tray, I can press Control plus E. Control E. Search edit box edit. Type and text. Search box edit. Type and text. And the disk will eject. But that will only happen if you are using Windows Media Player. If you are not using Windows Media Player, please use the button on the CD tray and you'll be able to eject your CD and remove it successfully.